Hello everybody, I'm Tiffany of Tiffany Outdoors. Welcome to my channel. In today's episode, I'm going to be building a display box for Joe Mintz of MyThingsToDoBlog.com. She wants a box that she can display some of the items so she can post those online under her blog. So let's get started on this project. So basically what I have here are some three quarter inch scrap plywood pieces that I got from the ReStore. That's a store that all the proceeds go to the Habitat for Humanity. So I like shopping there and you never know what you'll find. So I found these nice big pieces. So this is what I'm going to use for the project. So what Joe explained to me is she wants a box with just the bottom and three sides. So I'm going to try and pick some of the best looking pieces that I have here. I think this was a little dingy, so I'll use this for the bottom. I have this side facing up. And basically what I'm going to do is build a box with three sides on it. So this is basically this is basically what she wants, something like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using my pocket hole jig that I got from Harbor Freight to make pocket holes in this just to make this very sturdy, make these these walls stand up really straight, really strong and not be able to be all wobbly and stuff since it's not a whole entire box. So now the first thing I need to do is measure some stuff out. So what I'm trying to do is trying to find the best piece that looks great on the outside because this is not going to be painted. She's going to be using some different colored fabrics so that she can change the color of her background on this. So all I'm going to do is line up this edge the best I can. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put three screws in this. I'm going to mark my space out with this framing square so I can line it up exactly where I wanted it to be. One somewhere in the middle here would be my second one. And somewhere around here will be my third screw. So when I do my pocket holes, so I'm going to put one here, one here, and one here. And all my holes are going to be on the inside. So I'm going to look down inside the hole there to see where to line up my hole and try and get that mark right in approximately the middle of the hole. Set my clamp. I've already have my, um, my drill bit in. I've already preset this and tested it to make sure it's exactly where I needed it to be. And now I'm going to make my holes. So I got my three holes here. Okay, I've switched out to my Phillips bit. Now I'm going to put my glue on, and I like this tight bond two glue. With a small bead. Actually, when you do these pocket holes, this gluing process is really not necessary because of the strong bond. But I'm just going to put this on. Anyway, I'm going to put this on anyway. Okay, now I'm going to line my edges up. Get as straight as I can. And I'm going to drop a screw down on each one of these holes. That way all I have to do is just screw it in. I'm going to start with the middle one. Thank you. 
And that's it. That is going to be strong once the glue dries. Get the other sides on. So wipe off this excess glue here. This side and the outside. And then I'm going to do the other side. I've got the other side up. Now it's time to cut this piece that goes in between here. So, thinking either just going with it across the whole back like so, which would be the easiest way, or I can cut, cut this to fit inside this gap here and then screw some holes in from this way. It's all up in the air right now. Make it all nice and uniform. I think what I'll do is cut this little piece off so it'll all fit on the inside. Just like so. So I got my mark here. I'm going to take my circular saw cut right down there. That fits in there nicely. It's not perfect, but it's going to work. So, now to drill my pocket holes and attach it. Here it is all put together. I'm going to let this dry overnight and come back tomorrow and finish this up. Hello everybody. It's been 24 hours. This thing is dry. Super sturdy. Now the only thing left for me to do is decide whether to paint this inside or not. Or to use like different fabrics. I'm not sure what Joe is actually wanting to do to change the color on the inside of this maybe paint it i'm not sure i sent her a message to see what she wants but until then what i want to do is put some handles on the outside of this to make it easier for her to carry so i'm going to go and find some handles and i'll be right back so i found a handle and it's going to be perfect it's got short screws with it that won't go all the way through and that's exactly what i was looking for I think I got these at Lowe's or Home Depot. Just a little cheap handle with short screws. And this is going to work perfectly. So what I've done was I stood in front of this thing and tried to feel how I would lift this up and what's a comfortable position. And this is going to vary if you decide to build one of these boxes like the person that you're building it for. It might be beneficial to have them right there and put their hands where the handles are so you can measure exactly what what height and how far away it would be front to back. What would be the most comfortable for that person. But I don't have Joe handy so I'm just going to have to try and guess on this. So what I did was I measured from the bottom to about nine and a half inches and then I went from front to the first hole of the handle, four and a quarter inches. So I'm going to screw this, these in on both sides and then I'm going to pick it up myself and test it out. Oh, 
Oh yeah, this is pretty comfortable for me to pick up. I just hope that it's comfortable for Joe also. That's from the front. Let's see. Yeah, even from the back, it's a little bit of a reach, but even from the back is easy to pick up and maneuver around. So this is awesome. You see the handles from the side. Just a little simple handle that I had laying around. And all the scrap wood I had laying around too. So now whenever she's trying to sell something or show, showcase something and just that particular item, she can take her item, put it in here, post pictures on her blog, and not have a whole lot of distracting background so this is going to be hopefully exactly what she needs and wants to further her blog I want to thank you for joining me in today's episode and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also go and check out mythingstodoblog.com to see all of Joe Mint's crafts and recipes and things of that nature and I will see you later bye